How many times has this happened to you? You're in the middle of a game, a conference call, or you're jamming out to some embarrassing music when you have to get up and go answer the phone, forgetting that you're using a wired pair of headphones. The cord drags your laptop to the ground and making matters worse, you lose your balance trying to catch it, and now you've got both a broken computer and no idea when that pizza you ordered is coming. So the advantages of having a wireless audio solution from someone like our sponsor for today's video, Antlion, are pretty obvious, but there's plenty more to choosing the correct one other than finding something without wires and calling it a day. And if you're looking for a Bluetooth device, much has been made of choosing the correct codec. But how much does that matter? Well, you can learn more about codecs up here, but simply put, a codec is the scheme that your devices will use to encode and decode a digital signal to produce actual uh, sound. So if you're looking for a Bluetooth speaker or headset, it almost certainly supports a codec called SBC. This codec is kind of the universal lowest common denominator that allows a huge range of playback devices and speakers to work with each other. And it actually delivers decent enough results. It supports up to 328 kilobit per second bit rates, which is about what you'd get with a Spotify premium subscription. And many people would actually be hard pressed to tell the difference between SBC and fancier codecs. However, it's important to remember that this doesn't necessarily mean that your tracks that you're paying your 10 bucks a month for will sound exactly like you'd expect on an SBC speaker or headphones. The vast majority of the audio that you listen to over the internet is compressed and SPC recompresses that audio with its own algorithm to preserve battery life at the expense of sound quality. So some people will be able to tell the difference, especially with higher end gear. So SBC isn't a terrible codec, but there are better ones. Other codecs such as Aptex and AAC support higher bandwidth and therefore higher quality audio. And the very premium Aptex HD and LDAC even boast that they support 24-bit audio streams. With that said, audio that high res has long been the subject of controversy with many enthusiasts claiming that virtually no one can tell the difference between 24-bit audio and the standard 16-bit stream that you'd hear on something like a CD. But could there be more to codecs than just sound quality? Yes. A more important difference that better codecs can make is in the latency. That is the delay caused by the time it takes for your devices to receive and process a signal. Have you ever noticed an unacceptably long audio delay when watching a video or playing a game using Bluetooth where the audio simply doesn't sync up with what's happening on screen? Well, if that's the case, you might want to look into devices that support the Aptix LL codec with LL standing for low latency. This codec can cut down on that pesky audio delay several times over. So give it a shot if you game or watch lots of movies over Bluetooth. Just remember that whichever codec you're interested in has to be supported by both your source device and the speaker or headphones. So some research is required before buying, especially because it's difficult to check what codec you're currently using in Windows. Unfortunately, it might be difficult to find this information on some gadgets such as laptops. A little patience though will be worth it if you're tired of everything you watch looking like a badly dubbed kung fu movie. Speaking of patience, bear with me for a moment while I tell you about our sponsor for today's episode. Antlion Audio's ModMic wireless microphone allows you to attach a mic to your favorite headphones. You simply stick it to pretty much any headphones you'd like with its magnetic mounting system, and then using Aptex technology, which of course we talked about today, they're able to achieve ultra low latency that's up to five times faster than standard Bluetooth. It's got dual mic modes to allow for omni or unidirectional at pickup with the switch on the mic, and it features 12 hours of battery life, and you can even charge it while it's in use. It's cross-platform compatible, so it'll work with PC, Windows, Mac, and PS4, and you can check it out at lmg.gg slash wirelessmodmic. We're going to have that linked below. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, check out our other videos, leave a comment with video suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe and follow. Or be a leader by subscribing, and then the others will follow you.